Welcome to Pepper and Fuchs Plugged In, where automation professionals can stay in touch with the latest enhancements in sensing, data communication, and control. Welcome to Pepper and Fuchs Plugged In, and today I have Chris Burke with me. Chris, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Alga? I'm doing okay. Thanks, Chris. For those of you that have not met or talked to Chris, Chris is a product manager within Pepper and Fuchs, has been with the company now for a number of years. And uh, Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about the product range that you're responsible for? Uh, so I'm responsible for the entire line of Rocket Link's Ethernet switches. So that, as far as I know, encompasses all of our Ethernet switches at PNF. Okay. And so I imagine you brought us an Ethernet switch today. Not surprisingly, that's exactly what I brought you today. Tell us about so, the unit you brought. Okay, so one of the things that people have been asking for has been a field-mounted switch. So today I'm going to be bringing you exactly that, an unmanaged eight-port field-mounted switch. And field-mounted means it's industrially tough and can be mounted on the outside of a machine where all the action is? Yep. So previously, all of our switches have been DIN rail mounted, and normally they have to be mounted inside a cabinet that's sealed against the environment. But this switch here can be mounted directly to the machine, and its design allows it to be sealed against the environment itself. Okay, that means a simplification when it comes to running cables, correct? Yep. So how do you how do you connect this? Describe the product for me, please. Okay, so on the uh, top face of the unit, there's eight decoded M12 connectors, and those are for the Ethernet connections. That's a standard. That's a standard Ethernet connection methodology. Yep. For field mounted Ethernet. Yep. Okay. Decoded. Okay. And then on the bottom of the unit, there's another connector, which is an A coded M12. And that is the power input. Um, what's notable about that is even though it's a single um, cable connector, there's actually dual power inputs into it. So that connector's got five pins in it. And two of the pins will go to one power input, and two of the other pins can actually be connected to a separate power input. So you can have dual power inputs just like most of our other switches. So dual power input means two power supplies can be connected to the switch simultaneously. Yep. And why would anybody want to do that? Um, so you have a backup power source. So the neat thing is, if you've got both power supplies connected to independent power sources, if one of your power sources go off, off, you know, offline, the other one will keep powering the switch. And it's not like you would have in a situation where you might have to wait a few seconds for you know a backup generator to kick in. Since the power supply is already connected to, say, let's say a backup battery, the switch isn't even going to power cycle. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So so redundancy is built in at uh, very, very simple redundancy, very effective redundancy. Yep. Good, good. Now, um, I want to come back to something you said, again, on the subject of industrial tough. Tell us a bit more about the things like temperature range and voltage input and, and other other factors that make this a quality product? Okay, so like a lot of our other switches, this switch has a you know, pretty wide um, operating temperature range. So it's rated to work in environments that are anywhere between negative 40 to 70 degrees centigrade, which if I'm remembering my math right, should be about negative 40 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the input voltage on it is also you know, has a wide range. So it will operate from 9.6 volts up to 45 volts. Temperature range, of course, is is important for some of the applications that we see nowadays. Uh, cold storage is one of those. And also maybe mobile equipment. Yep. So I just, you know, I, the voltage range I just mentioned, the nice thing about having that wide voltage range is that you can used it in a number of different applications. For instance, in mobile equipment, oftentimes you're going to have a 12 volt power supply. Now, in addition to that, this switch is also shock and vibration rated, which, you know, if you got any kind of equipment that's moving around, there's going to be a lot of shaking and vibration afflicted on the equipment that's mounted on it. So 
it's important that you also have proper shock and vibration resistance on any equipment you're going to mount onto the vehicle. That makes sense. Yes, absolutely. Peace of mind that the product is not going to fall apart uh, within a short amount of time. So let's let's switch over. We talked about connections and mounting and, and the general quality, the feel of the product. Let's talk a little about the function. It's an Ethernet switch. What type of an Ethernet switch is it? Is there anything that is, that is uh, somewhat special about it? So it's an unmanaged switch, which means that there's no configuration necessary. You just plug it into power, plug it into the Ethernet ports, and it's ready to go. However, one interesting feature that's not present a lot of times on unmanaged switches that this switch has is what's called a quality of service capabilities. So if you're running a lot of traffic across a network connection, you can run into periods where you have too much traffic for the connection. We call this network congestion. And at that point, the switch has to make a decision of what packets to drop and which ones to transmit. So with built-in quality of service. An, an example, for instance, would be if you run a process, a control process, and you open a web page and you want to get the data sheet maybe from that web page. Creates a lot of traffic at that point in time. Right. That's one instance where you could just run into a situation where the switch suddenly has to start dropping packets. Now, if you're doing control data, you really want that traffic to go through and the data sheet you're downloading it's not going to be as important as the control traffic. Absolutely. So a lot of protocols like Profinet and Ethernet IP, what they'll do is they tag their traffic as being a high priority um, packets. And any switch such as this one that understands quality of service tags will know to prioritize the Profinet and Ethernet IP traffic over you know, the web browser traffic to download that data sheet. That's great. That That is a feature that is typically present in managed switches, but needs to be set up. So for this particular unmanaged product, it's just there. It's automatic. Yep. Good, good. Um, I want to come back to uh, something you just said in passing here. You talked about Profinet and Ethernet IP. What type of product can be connected to this switch? So anything that talks Ethernet can be connected to this switch. So when I look at our product offering, that could be RFID, optical data couplers, IO link master, device master, distance measurement sensors like the VDM100, anything like that. Yep. So all those products you listed will be able to communicate through this switch, no problem. Good. Do we have any hazardous rating on the switch? Yeah, so this switch has a class one div two. Okay, that means in certain chemical plants, processing environments where there there may be occasional uh, hazards of, um, around, it still can be used there. Yeah, so class one div two means that the switch can be used in environments where like explosive gases and vapors might be present like under abnormal conditions. Yeah. They're not present under normal conditions, but. Okay. There's one thing I'm, I'm gonna say next, Chris, but in the meantime, uh, remember, you need to give us in a little bit, you need to give us your five word statement. So you may as well think about that. Uh, what I wanted to mention to our listeners is that as of today, or actually this month, and we're talking about end of March, 2022, we have this product in stock. I think this is important to mention because there is such a run on controls equipment these days. To have product in stock is is a real benefit for our customers, just as much as our sales colleagues being able to offer them to our customers. Yep, so as of this recording, we've got units in stock that can be sold immediately. So. That's great, that's great. So Chris, you think about your five word statement, and in the meantime, I try to summarize what I learned, and uh, you please correct me where, where I make wrong statements. So today we were talking about a, an ethernet switch that can be field mounted. It's industrial tough, high IP, high voltage range input, wide temperature range. It offers a quality of service feature to make sure that controls data is getting to the PLC and back to the module without being interrupted. Um, 
the product allows the connection of not only controls protocols, Ethernet IP and Profinet, but any other Ethernet proto uh, protocol in general. The product offers redundant power inputs, so two power supplies can be used simultaneously and thus making the whole system more redundant in case of a single component failure. I think that does summarize it as far as I'm concerned. Did I forget something, Chris? Uh, no, I, that was a good summary. Okay, so it's your turn. What's the five-word statement of the week? Okay, so the five-word statement for this product, rugged switch for harsh environment. I like that. Rugged switch for harsh environment. Good. Well, on that note, uh, I want to thank our listeners. And uh, thank you, Chris, for, for bringing us up to speed on, on this exciting product. And uh, we'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Goodbye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Pepperell and Fuchs Plugged In. Please subscribe to our channel and never miss hearing about the latest innovations in factory automation.